This is Larry, your IV teacher. This morning, there were quite few students missed the class. Uh, so we're going to do this uh, little video tutorial again. Today, uh, we mostly talk about a new effect called uh, time warp. Last class, uh, we talked about uh, a motion effect to slow motion, fast motion, and then reverse. Um, we have a, a effect called a time warp actually to do the same. And I didn't realize the effect was available now. And uh, I thought we didn't have the effect on our Media Composer first version. But in the latest version, we do have that effect. That effect actually is easier than the motion effect. Okay, uh, so we're going to do that. And I purposely uh, start from scratch. Uh, I didn't import a video because I noticed um, from the homework you guys submitted and uh, quite a student have the aspect ratio distortion problem. Um, so I want you guys try to avoid that by doing something. And I actually touched this issue a little bit last uh, in the last video, but I want to do it again here. Basically, first of all, I want you guys to check your setting. Go to video input setting. And I want you to use a do not resize smaller image. Okay, have that select. The reason is that an our video source from all different unexpected places. So um, when the size is different and the avid sometimes uh, will resize it, try to fit our monitor, then we end up having like distorted uh, aspect ratio video or uh, pictures. All right, we set the input um, setting to do not resize and let's do the, no, let's do the input. Okay. Right click on the bin, then input source browser and uh, my video is on the desktop and we're going to use same video Mondo Duplantis instead of link we want to input okay this is a quite short video uh, it should be very quick okay this is imported um, if I loaded the video you notice it's a smaller because we said not resize then uh, let's use a uh, frame flex to fit our monitor you can right click on the source then go to source setting go to frame flex then we drag this to the edge of the image then we basically tell the computer that is the video we want to use as a full size to match our monitor and click OK now it's a full size video okay let's put it you can press B to put it onto our our timeline um, at this point I like to mix down this video because right now we have this look this S that means we have a the frame flex effect on them. So if with this effect, if we add more effect on, uh, sometimes the video will slow down. So I will just mix it down by go to timeline, mix down, choose video mix down. Okay, and this is the bin I use. I want to go to target drive, data drive. Everything looks fine. And just click OK. This will create a completely new video without any effect on that so we can uh, do whatever like a regular video we don't have to worry about uh, multiple effects on the video and the slow down now this is a mix down and this is here and now we're going to put on timeline make sure we have to deselect audio track so it won't be replaced press b now we have this completely new video on okay let's talk about time warp effect 
slow motion, drag it down, it becomes slow motion, or you can do fast motion, it will go very fast, okay, and uh, if you do, uh, you can choose from a uh, real speed, 100, go to slow motion, then go back to real speed let's do the one we did last time with the motion effect so you can select from here we want to go back go to slow motion we simply add a keyframe here that's where we start like, let's use jkl button just go a little bit uh, no, people don't know. we just go a little bit to the right then we add a one keyframe okay that's where we start then here's we end Let's end here. We add a one keyframe, then we go to couple of go a couple of seconds later. We add another frame. Okay, basically from here we from this point we want it is go down. The reason we use two key two keyframes is if we use the first only one, then we'll have that effect. We don't want that. We want okay. And we want it to go to real speed to this point, then we go to slow mo. And then we want to go here, then we want to go back to real speed. So basically, the re result will be like this. So basically, this effect will be like that. Or um, if you want to do fast speed, you can do this. Go up, go to fast speed. Okay, and uh, also you can do reverse. Reverse if you can drag below zero, then it will be reverse. See if it goes here. Okay. So basically it's start from here. We start jump, then go to reverse, go back, then go up again. Okay. And you can also move the keyframe by hold option. So it will move the keyframe. And then we can do that. Will be bigger, probably will be more obvious. Okay, let's play. See, go back. Okay. Basically, start from here, moving up, then moving back. And here, the computer kind of didn't know how to handle this, and. Uh, if you render probably go smooth. <clears throat> Alright, that's uh, basically it is. You can do you can do slow mo forward. Okay. That's it, that's the effect to do uh, slow motion, fast motion and uh, reverse. It can also do still if we drag this to zero. Let's see, it will do. Okay, one thing we noticed that actually the whole video duration didn't change. So the video actually stop at here. So to see the rest, uh, we have to trim the video and use this uh, trim trim button. If you don't have this on your computer, you can use um, Control or Command Three. Then you will see this uh, uh, Command Palette show up. It's a trim is in this here. Okay. Then you can drag this onto your your uh, window okay and let's trim that 
and you can use this here go to time frame you can keep going and you will see the video actually got extended and you'll be seated at the end all right notice uh what we actually did the slow-mo and we did the effect only on the video and the, the audio actually didn't change okay so that's all um, about time warp. Okay, and um, I'm going to uh, post this video on WeChat so you guys can download. I want you guys to practice on time warp and then you can do a uh, slow-mo and um, fast mode and then reverse. I want you to be able to do an O3. All right, you can do O3 on one video. That would be great. If you want to do it on a separate video, that's fine too. All right, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.